Welcome back. We're going to talk about utilizing folders in Canva and how they can benefit you. Now there's two different types of folders that we're going to talk about. One for elements and another one for your different designs. So the first one we're going to look at is how we are creating folders for our designs. So the first thing we want to look at is all of these different things that we create and they kind of get a little junky. So if we go up under our left hand side under projects and I already kind of have a few, but if we go to the right hand corner, we can see this add new button. If we click over here, we can see folder and it's going to give us a few different options and you can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to do a test folder for now. And you can add people to this folder. This is a great option, especially if you're creating this folder for other people to see. And for this example, I'm not going to. Um, you can also make this visible to other people in your organization. Um, for this example, I'm just not going to do any of that. So I'm going to click Create Folder. So for this, I can see that my folder is right here. So for right now, I have nothing there, but this folder option does give me a few different things that I can do with it. One, I can start the folder. What this does is on the left hand side, it does give me this kind of priority uh, folder option and it just puts it right there. These are things that I know that I'm constantly going to be going back and forth to, which it kind of it, it's basically a bookmarking option which is very efficient very great tool and if you don't want it there you can just simply exit out of that over here you can simply create a design if you know that it's automatically going to go into that folder or you can upload something from your drive from uh, your google folder anything like that over here, you can see who is in that folder. If you've shared it with somebody else, you can add people to this folder. You can rename the folder if you would like to or delete it. You can create a few different things. So you can add a folder within a folder. You can upload files. You can import from different apps. This is great, especially since we're a Google district. You can add different designs and you can create a banner. So if you create this, Canva already has the dimensions and a few different templates that you can choose from. So for this one, I'm just going to uh, pick one that they've already done. I like this one. And again, you can add elements. You can do anything that you want with it. Uh, my favorite color is purple, so I'm actually going to take this out and I'm going to resize it over top. And now when I hit save, you'll see that over top it's going to put my design there. While that's loading, this share button over here does the same thing that we just talked about. Um, it's just going to show you uh, who can see what's in that folder and also see what they can do. This is similar to what we already see in Google of what they can do with it as in view, edit, or share. And then here we can see that that banner is there. It just gives you a great little design option to spice up your folder. So these are your folder for your designs. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click on a random, let's see, we'll do a Facebook post. All right, so by clicking on an untitled design already in the folder, I know that this is going to be right here no matter what. It's not going to be floating off in Neverland. It's going to be right there. Remember that you can always title your design. But the next type of folder that I want to talk about is our elements folders and also our templates. So anytime that you use anything, you can put it in those folders. If I know that I like something, but I'm not necessarily going to be using it right away, 
I can store it in a folder so that I can always come back to it. So if I go over to Elements and I scroll down, I love that sometimes they have these different collections from artists and they're beautiful pieces of artwork, but they're not necessarily what I need to be using right now. Um, especially these flowers. I love these flowers. They're beautiful, um, but they're just not what I need for this particular design, especially if my design is going to be sports related. So what I can do is I can click on add to folder. I can click on my folders and if I scroll down, here is my test folder option. Now, if I have my folders, but it doesn't really necessarily fit into a particular folder that I've already created, I can scroll over here and create a new folder, particularly for those elements. But for now, I'm just going to do this test folder and I can move here. There we go. Now, when I go over here, I'm going to refresh this. there is my image. So it gives me a few different options. This simply just gives you basically a database for all the different things that you see or that you want to collect without having to write them down on a sticky note um, and remember where they are. Because if I didn't have a folder for all of my elements, my fonts, things like that, I would have to write down the title of this um, particular element file and I just know that I'm not going to keep up with it and then I might forget where that beautiful piece of art came from. So this just gives you a little bit of simplicity for that. So if you have questions, feel free to reach out. If not, have fun designing.